In this video, I'm going to show you how to make and use something called a bump map, which is useful for adding surface texture to a 3D or hill shaded landscape. A bump map just adds a little bit of additional elevation across the entire DEM to add a realistic sense of the ground texture. You might make a bump map to mimic the tree crowns of a forest, or in this simplified case, we'll make a bump map to add some longitudinal ridges to this glacier, which right now is pretty artificially smooth, to show how the ice folds as it flows down the valley. So to start with, let's go back so to start with, let's go back to Photoshop. And in Photoshop, we have this elevation model. You can see if we zoom in on this area here that we've already inserted our glacier, which is right here. I can turn that layer on and off. So you can see here's that added elevation from the glacier. And we want to make yet another layer to make our bump map in. A bump map works the same way as a DEM, where the base value or the lowest elevation value is black, and then it gets brighter and brighter as you add more elevation to the bump map, or you might say higher bumps to the bump map. So the first thing we want to do in this layer is actually just dump it entirely full of black, and then we'll add some lightness to it to draw those streaks of the glacier. So I'm just going to make sure that black is my foreground color, and I'm going to switch my foreground and background so that black is in the foreground. And then come up and get my paint bucket tool and just fill this entire layer, I've got layer 1 selected, with black. Now I need to remember where my glacier is on that landscape, so I'm going to go back over to Paths and select the Glacier 1 path, and that'll make it show up on the screen there. You can see the outline of Glacier 1. And then back over in Layers, I'm going to make sure that I'm working in Layer 1 and then I'm going to come get my paintbrush tool. And I've got a brush here. If I right click, I can choose my brushes. I've got a brush uh, that's it's a 14 point spatter brush, which means that it's going to give me this sort of amorphously shaped brush. And I've set the flow down so it's only at 1%. So I'm only going to be very subtly adding the color of this brush to that glacier surface. I'm just going to switch my color swatches back so that white is my foreground color. And that's the color that I'm going to be painting with the brush. And then I'm just going to draw a few swashes down this glacier. So I'll just click and drag in order to draw that swash with the brush down the glacier. And you can see that it's just sort of creating this streak effect. It's very low contrast because I've got the flow set so low. But what that means is that I won't be adding a tremendous amount of elevation to this elevation model. It's just a very subtle increase of the elevation so that I'm getting these very small ridges within the glacier. So there's my few little streaks there. And this probably isn't perfect. I probably wanted to spend some more time uh, with this brush doing a, a slightly more subtle job uh, and perhaps matching the, the shape and the contours of the glacier a bit better. But this will give you a good sense for what this sort of painting on the glacier surface will achieve when it becomes a bump map. So now that I've got this, I've got layer one on top here. I'm just going to go up to File and Save As and then save a TIFF without the layers. So what that'll mean is that whatever is visible on the top here is just going to become what that TIFF image consists of in its entirety. I'll save that as bump map and go ahead and save. We can use all of these standard options. Okay. And then I can come back over to Natural Scene Designer. I'll close that rendering. Don't need to save it. And then in Natural Scene Designer I can come up to Scene and say Terrain Bump Map. And from there I can load this bumpmap.tiff file. I can say open. If I already had a bump map and I wanted to change it, I could load a bump map from here. You can see I can load it the same way. If I need to clear the bump map, I can push this button. And it's a little bit confusing. You can't actually see a preview of the bump map in terms of the terrain surface here. But if you press preview here, it'll give you a preview of what that bump map looks like in the rendering. And you can see that those streaks are pretty visible. It looks like someone just sort of dragged a rake across the glacier. I didn't do a particularly nuanced job of creating that bump map. But you can also change the way that the bumps are displaced. So if I was to set this higher and hit preview again, you can see that the gouges are actually deeper. You can also make the gouges pretty small if you want. So you can change the percentage by which it's actually adding those elevation changes to your terrain model change that back up a little bit. And then if I press OK and go ahead and render my picture, you can see that it's incorporated that bump map into my rendering.